Anatomy of the Stomach Introduction The stomach is the widest and most distensible part of the alimentary canal. It lies between the oesophagus above and the duodenum below. Where is the stomach located? There are nine quadrants of the abdomen. The stomach occupies three of them, namely, left hypochondria, epigastric and umbilical regions. It is seen to occupy the left upper part of the abdomen. The stomach can broadly be divided into four parts, the cardia, fundus, body and pylorus. External features of the stomach. It has two ends, the cardiac end and the pyloric end. Two curvatures, the greater curvature and the lesser curvature. It has two surfaces, anterior and posterior. Next, we will be talking about are the relations of the stomach. There are peritoneal relations and visceral relations. The peritoneal relations include greater onentum, lesser omentum, gastrosplenic and gastrophrenic ligament. The anterior visceral relations refers to those visceral structures lying anteriorly to the stomach. They include the liver, diaphragm, and anterior abdominal wall. The posterior visceral relations form the stomach bed, and we gonna be using the mnemonic Dr. S3 kills patients mercilessly, where the D in doctor stands for diaphragm. I'm gonna remove this diaphragm so that we can appreciate other organs. The first S in S3 stands for splenic artery. The second S stands for left suprarenal gland, while the third S stands for the spleen. The K in kill stands for the left kidney. The P in patient stands for pancreas. And finally, the M in mercilessly stands for transverse mesocolon. From the anterior view, you can appreciate the transverse mesocolon lying between the stomach and the transverse colon. <laughs>